Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at what's new in Layout 2022. So there have been uh, quite a few changes in the newest version of Layout. Uh, there's a couple which I would call quality of life improvements. Uh, some things about uh, Zoom and finding text that make it easier to work inside of Layout. But the big piece is some addition of auto text. Auto text commands that were added are going to make it a lot easier to generate templates and generate documents that will automatically pull information from your model. So let's take a look at those right now. All right, so first, quality of life. Uh, the big, and this is probably, I don't know, with all the stuff I'm showing, this is, will probably have the biggest impact, is Zoom to Selection. So what Zoom to Selection lets you do is right-click on anything in your entire layout model, click Zoom to Selection, and it will blow that selection up so it fills the screen. You do get a little buffer here. Of course, it doesn't give you, like, fill 100%, but uh, there, I'm zoomed in here. If I want to zoom out to the drawing, I can just right-click anywhere on the drawing, hit Zoom to Selection, it'll blow up that, uh, that whole drawing. This is super nice because um, I, I have in the past had had a problem navigating inside layout. It's, I've get, got stuck trying to zoom or zoom too far or something like that. Now that I have the zoom to selection, I think this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if I want to jump into a smaller part, so this is a group here. If I double click, I can get into a smaller piece. I want to just work on this zoom selection. It's going to blow that up in the middle of the screen so I can work on just that. Uh, I really like this option, this way of zooming. Something to note about viewports, so drawing viewports like this, when uh, I right click on some portion of the drawing, I will get zoom to selection. If I click in the empty space that is the background of the sky here, you see I get a different context menu. Uh, it doesn't give me the same options. If I want to zoom into a viewport or zoom out to a viewport, zoom to a viewport, I do have to click on some model contents in order to get that zoom selection. But like I said, this now feels like the, the ultimate way to move around layout is to just right click and zoom selection to jump into stuff. And if I wanna go in smaller, just come in here, zoom selection. Uh, man, that just, I really, I really like that. Sorry, commentary over, let's get back to some facts. Another option we have in here is around text. If we go to text find, you hit uh, the shortcut for find, which is the same through the default shortcut the same that I would use for just about any any program. Uh, I get this find and replace window. This is super nice because this will ripple through all text in the model and modify it. So if something happens as I'm building, you know, I'm, I'm putting my drawing together and the lot number changes or something like that where uh, the the name of the residence changes, I don't know what, what it would be, but that that term may be used over and over, maybe on every single sheet or in a lot of notes. If I want to make that change, I can do it by typing in the name to search for, the replacement value, and then just go through and replace all or one by one. Same as it works in any other, any text editor, anything like that. But it's super nice here because, like I said, it will jump. You don't have to go manually double click, triple click into groups and then text. It will actually find and replace that text just automatically for you. Super nice because those changes do happen and changing them in a whole bunch of different pieces can be kind of monotonous. All right, let's hop in and look some of this auto text I was talking about. First thing I want to look, port, look at is viewport text. So I'm going to go ahead and use zoom selected. Oh, so cool. To look at this text right here. So you see right here, I have tower elevation, west elevation of tower design. These are both auto text. If I click... Let me go grab this one right here. You can see this viewport that's highlighted right now is called Tower Elevation, which is the text right here. That is the name of the viewport as set in the SketchUp model. This text right here, I'm going to double click in here and double click again, is Auto Text Scene Name. So it automatically pulls the name of the scene that is set up here. Below that, is the scene description. You remember back in SketchUp, you have the ability to set a scene name, of course. It starts by calling it scene one, two, three, four, whatever. But you can override that. And in this scene UI, in the window for scenes, you have the ability to add a description. Now, that description is actually pulled, can be pulled automatically with this auto text and displayed in your layout drawing. So very cool way to pull that data that's already there. You don't have to go in and put that in every time. You could add it, make it part of a template once, and it will automatically fill that information in. 
you can see here I have, I have another page where there's a different view and that same uh, thing is there and it's calling it the different thing because this is a different uh, scene, of course. And the other thing you might see that right there, page one of two, page two of two, one of two, two of two, automatically changes. And if I come in here and guess what? More, more automatic uh, auto text here, page, page number of page count. So it automatically looks at what the number is and then it automatically adjusts the page count, which means if I come in here and I come to this and I duplicate this one, look what happened. Oop, I just got three and all of these changed to pages one of three, two of three, three of three. So awesome, awesome text automatically updates. Very cool, very easy to use. Speaking of automatically updating, one of the, I don't know, I'll say, I don't know, it's not probably not the most requested, but one of the biggest requests we had was auto numbering text. So text that automatically advanced or counted up as you put more of that text in. And that is now here. So if, if I, I just want to point this out. Um, if I go, so right now insert auto text is disabled because I'm not editing or place, I'm not in a place where I could add auto text in. I have to be in a field or a label where I'm adding text. But if I come to customize auto text, this is where you'll see some, uh, some new auto text in here. As you add auto text to the scene, of course it shows up in here, but I can actually see here's some options for different auto text. You can actually come in and edit this stuff just like you, these new things are edited just like the old ones are, but I did want to point out that they're in here and we'll come back to this in just a second because I'm gonna add some new auto text. Uh, auto counting text, where it advances automatically. There's a couple examples of this in the scrapbook. So if I come to the scrapbook and I'm just in TB plane and then I'm in the auto text enabled, uh, I'm gonna pull some simple ones in here. I'm gonna grab this little hexagon and I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna drop it uh, right here in this portion of the bridge. So that's section A. Look at the one that's connected to my cursor now. There's B, over here we have C, and down here where these people are standing, that's gonna be D. That automatically advances as I go. And if I come in here and click into it, Click into it. This is auto text A. If I go to text, customize auto text, I'll be able to see what does that auto text do? Well, A, here's the style, here's what I start with, here's the increment and the format. So if I come in here and I bump this number up, let's go, let's go three. Notice that it jumps to the third letter, C. If I want to, this is kind of weird with letters, to advance letters by numbers. So let's get a clearer illustration on here. Let's grab this, uh, this square right here. Maybe this square is these uh, supports. So I'm gonna put one here, 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 and here. Again, now if I go in here, customize auto text, I'll see that new one, which is right down here, square. And now this makes a little more sense because I could say, okay, jump to the second number which the second number in numbers is two, as opposed to the second number being B, which can be a little confusing, but it makes sense. I mean, you do have to know how your alphabet works, I suppose. Um, but I could do something cool, like I could say, start with one and then advance uh, every 10, right? So that's gonna give me, let me go start with 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You can see I can very easily go in and adjust this and make these settings. And again, this is just one that's automatically in here. I could manually come in and create an auto text feature with the same, uh, these same properties, just setting that sequence type and putting that in there and then dropping those in there. A fun way to play with this, of course, is to grab these auto texts out of your scrapbook, which are part of sketch or part of layout 22 and put them in and then play with them to see how they work, which I recommend doing. Give it a shot, play around with it, and you'll see exactly how you can edit those texts. So that was not a comprehensive cover of absolutely everything. There's some stuff in there that was tweaks or fixes and that kind of stuff, not very much fun to look at. But I do invite you, if you want to see absolutely everything that's modified, check out our blog, blog.sketchup.com, and look up for the 2022 release article, and you'll have a link in there to the release notes. And I think that the actual 
text in there, go through some other things, some other pieces in there. If you haven't seen it already, we do have videos for the new tools in SketchUp Pro 2022 and the updates to SketchUp Pro 2022. So check those out also. If you did like that video, go ahead and click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you subscribe, you not only get notified of release videos like this, but our weekly skill builders, square ones, live streams, all the good video content we put out, which is aimed at helping you. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.